I went to the opera tonight. I went to see Aida and something struck me about it which is not what I expected. Um, so there's this really dramatic moment, right, where Aida betrays her true love to stay true to her country, her homeland. And in return, her true love betrays his country to stay true to Aida. Um, and then feels really bad about it and decides he's gonna die. It's an opera, so they all die. No great surprise. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't need a spoiler alert for that. Uh, yeah, so... This is an integral part of the plot. And there's a lot at stake. And these people's actions and then the torment that they feel due to them hinges on the fact that their country has such a pull on them that they would sacrifice everything else for that. You've got to believe that or none of the rest of it makes sense. And this is a concept that a few years ago I might not have believed. I would have been like, well that's a bit silly, really. You love him, just be with him. Um, but I've now been traveling overseas for three years and today marks exactly one year of being in Canada and I'm ready to go home and um, yeah my country does have that pull on me and if somebody told me that I couldn't go back there I, I, I might do something drastic mm. so I get Aida now yeah me and her we're pretty much the same person. Mm. But I've got to say, it's nice growing up a bit and understanding uh, new and different things in the entertainment around me. You hear a song that you've heard a hundred times before and you're like, oh, I get that now because it relates to that moment in my life where this happened. And um, yeah, even if I do look old and wrinkly now, it's worth it for the Aida moments.